Go. Hi, I'm Robert Harris. I'm James Riley. And I'm Renee Lindsay. And when we heard about the Bundjans and their journey to bury the not so recently deceased Eddie, we had to get a closer look at this eccentric family and what caused them to finally crumble in the end. Upon arriving in Yakna Patapwa, we found the Bundrans preparing for their pilgrimage. It's not gonna ride on a balance. Lift! It's not gonna ride on a balance! Lift, damn you! Ansel was being very adamant about the travel arrangements. You're not gonna take that horse there, boy! I'm taking the horse! No, you're not, boy! So why was it so important to you that you'll ride in the wagon? <laughs> he only did it because he only did it out of disrespect, you know. Him and that damn horse. I tell you, that kid, I, he, he knew I wouldn't like it at all. Perhaps he just didn't want to share his hurt with his brothers and sister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just keep saying that. He didn't give a lick about his family. And you know what? He'd just be happy off... Better off, you know, if we were all dead and buried in Jefferson. That's all. Alright, good. Well, it would have been nice having a mother being in this condition and whatnot. My mother is the fish! <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I always said that Jewel was the problem. <laughs> he was her punishment. And I always said she should accept God into her heart. And now her family's being punished for her sins. And I always said, I always said, that, and especially her pulling off that poor Darl, and he ain't ever done nothing but love her. I always said, that Darl was the sweetest thing. I always knew since he was young. And her surround and life, ban and dane, death, it's an outrage. Don't you touch me! Don't you touch me! You're just like a lot of them! Them Bundrens? Well, I tell you. Well, they got themselves some issues, man. <laughs> oh, well. I still don't know what I'm gonna do about my poor burned down barn. Somebody's gotta pay for it. Why'd you grab my horse? I had to sell it. I just had to sell it. You had to sell I worked my butt off all summer to pay for that horse. Why did you get rid of it? The family needed the money. The family needed the money. I need the horse. Don't raise your voice at me. It was my horse. This is my house. My horse. This is my. None of this would have happened. I really don't think that guy knew what he was doing. I don't think it worked. I mean, didn't I say it wouldn't work? I said it wouldn't work. He didn't fully lose it until we all gave up on him. I could see it in his eyes, those big, round, dark eyes. The moment we let go, he gave up on himself. I felt so bad, so, so bad. He was a smart kid, you know? It's just a downright dirty shame that happened to him. But he was just too close off from everybody, you know? No one could ever see that until it was too late. Yep. I was only trying to do right by her and everybody else. The whole thing was nonsense from the start. People always said that I was weird, but I never really thought much of it until my family turned their back on me. You know, none of us ever really knew how anyone really felt about any of us. I guess that's where it all started. It turned out how they made me debate. All right, son, your time's up. Let's go. Not understanding what I do 
Am I as or as I was? I guess it doesn't matter now because Send me away after all this time But caring was my only crime Now I'm stuck on a train awaiting my fate For all my options it's become too late and There's nothing left that I can do I'll just play my part through and through Laughing after all I do My mistake was trusting you <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Ha 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 ha. Yes, yes, yes.